What is up, Pokemon TCG players? Uh, if you've been following this channel, you will find out that I've only recently started to learn and play the Pokemon TCG. And in doing so, one of the things I started to become obsessed with is, can I play a deck that has no energy in it? Um, a bit of backstory about me is that in Magic the Gathering, in a format called Legacy, which has almost all of the cards available to them, there was two decks that I really liked to play. One of them was Oops All Spells, which, as you can maybe guess by the name, has all spells and no lands, and Goblin Charbelcher, where Charbelcher reveals cards from the top of your deck until it finds a mountain and then deals that much damage. So if there's no mountains, it does a lot of damage. And these decks find as many cheap and cheesy ways as it can to activate the spells and abilities that it needs to use in order to win the game. And I wanted to put that same kind of deck building challenge onto myself to try and build something similar in Pokemon. And after a few iterations, I think we've come pretty close to what I'm looking for. This is Toxic Stall. So not only does it have no energy, but it also never attacks the opponent. We've got a few main synergy cards that make our poison deal more damage. For example, Survivor. We've also got Radiant Hisuian Sneasla, which does the same thing, but is uh, two more damage counters. Uh, and we also have a Stadium Furbank City Gym, which extra counters as well. And then we've got Pukumuku, which just becomes another card in hand. Um, Salandit, specifically the Psychic type one. Um, and Salazzle. Salazzle's ability is you can uh, leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. And we also have Hypnotoxic Laser, which makes your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned and, if you're lucky, also asleep. So the idea is to, without attacking, get your opponent's Pokemon poisoned and get that ticking up and doing damage as fast as possible. Um, and then try not to give up too many prize cards because any of these basic Pokemon could be sitting there taking hits. But we have a few ways to stop that. We've got Lily's Pokedoll, which is actually kind of crazy. It's just a 30 HP Pokemon, but if they knock it out, they don't get prize cards for it. And we can put tools onto this. So I can use my Rescue Scarf. So if the Pokemon is knocked out, I put that Pokemon in my hand. But if that Pokemon is Lily's Pokedoll, it just goes back into my hand. And I play it onto my bench again. And I spend as many times as I can trying to avoid giving up prize cards. Um, and then everything else comes down to thinning out our deck and drawing as many useful cards as we can. We've got Fog Crystal because it gets Survivor and Salander. That's specifically why it is the Psychic type Salander. We've got Random Receiver because we only have two types of Supporter. Professor's Research and Irida. Now Professor's Research just draws a bunch of cards and often will have a bunch of junk. We just need to dig for more things. Um, and Irida searches the deck for a Water type Pokemon and an item card. Now the Water type Pokemon can be Lumineon, which can be put onto the bench to go and get a Professor's Research, or Pukumuku, which just draws a card and replaces itself. And then we are using a lot of item cards, so the, the item search part of it is actually more relevant, um, usually for getting Hypnotoxic Laser if I don't have another method of poisoning the opponent. And we have Scoop Up Net, so it's Scoop Up Net and Salazzle lets me cycle the Salazzle's um, Evolve ability to burn and poison my opponent's Pokemon several times when needed. Um, and then everything else is pretty much just digging, like we have the Forest Seal Stone which lets us search our deck for a card, um, a whole bunch of stuff that just lets us search. And then the goal is to try and stay alive as long as possible, give up as few prize cards as possible, and have my opponent's active Pokemon poisoned for as long as possible. But let's see if we can actually win a game. Yes. 
I pretty much always want to go first because there's a small advantage in that if they have a Pokemon that has really small HP that they're hoping to evolve quickly, I can poison it and be dealing damage to it before their first turn. Uh, which can hurt a lot. This is Charizard V, it has 220 HP. It's okay, let's, uh, let's thin the deck first. So capturing Aroma gets either a Salazzle or a basic type Pokemon. Looks like we're not going to be able to go for poison straight away. We're going to quick ball. The, we'll keep the Lumine on. We'll get rid of the Professor's Research for now. Um, and we will grab the Salander. Because we're going to burn and poison very soon. Um, I think that's enough. We can't put too much stuff on our bench. Um, because we are going to need spaces for um, Surviper and Sneasla. We are going to leave my opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. I'm just going to ditch these. Um, I'm going to scoop up net this. Play the Salander again. And I don't mind discarding the Salazzle because I have one other in the deck. I'm going to play this. Um, I'm going to play. Ah, oh, let's capturing aroma first. We missed. I don't want to grab this. I'll play the random receiver. Gives us an irida for next round. And then go and get another survivor. Okay, so we can't even attack me yet. Uh, okay, they're all attacks. But he was able to evolve. That's unfortunate. Uh, which removes the poison. But I have Hypnotoxic Laser here, so... Hopefully you'll be asleep also. That's pretty huge. Um, Showa. Let's go and get that Bukamuku. And... Rescue Scarf. Okay, we can just cycle this. Okay, got an irida for next turn. Let's put this on Lumineon, and then we'll poison and pass. Oh, we got the sleep as well, that's high. So get another hypnotoxic laser. I'm going to put the polka doll in play. We're going to pitch Pyokimoku. I get a rescue star. That's pretty sick. Hypnotoxic laser again. And I get the sleep. That's really good. And we're going to say done. Yes, I want to end my turn without attacking. I want to end every turn without attacking.
I think he's digging really hard for a switch or something. Oh yeah, I get to look at your prize cards. That's hype. Okay, so he hit a stadium. That's fine. And they play one stadium. Alright, does he stay asleep? Yes. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing. We will always be able to get a Pukimuku because it puts itself on the bottom of the deck. Um, so Irida will always be draw a card, get an item, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I think what we want here, like, is there a... Oh, it's a prize. My other sellers was a prize card. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're just going to get Hypnotoxic Laser here. I think that's fine. I'm going to draw a card. Okay, I have a Salazzle for the bench. So once one polka doll goes, I'll put Salazzle in and put the other polka doll in. Ooh, this is pretty. Alright. And then he dies, and I get three prize cards. I'm now in the lead. I'm now winning. Ooh, and I hit Salazzle. That's really good. And Rescue Scarf. That is also really good. So it has no energy on it yet. I'm going to save the Hypnotoxic Laser because the sleep um, will buy me a turn. And we'll just do more damage by burning instead. Uh, I'm going to put a Rescue Scarf on this. And then we will... Oh, I need to go get Scoop Up Net. I'm going to scoop up net the Salazzle. Play the Salandit. Uh, let's draw a card. Pukamuku. Quick ball. Um, I think... I think I'm fine to just play the Survivor here. Um, if this dies and I bring out Salandit, then I will scoop up net. Um, after activating its ability. I think we we'll find a pass. Oh, interesting. So he's going to be setting up Reshaman to attack next turn. But it's on half health. Okay, if it lost the burn, I would maybe Hypnotoxic Laser. Hundred more damage. That's fine. This is like enough to kill anything, but let's just poke it all. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think this is fine. I'm just gonna random receiver. This is all fine. I'm just professor's research. Have I played all my ir irida? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, we just pass. Yep. So Rescue Scarf means we have eight at least Polka Doll. Which is eight attacks that they do that do nothing. Okay, here's the Salander. He dies on the way back. We get three prize cards. The burn is cured after death, which is kind of funny. But um, Hypnotoxic Laser and a Pukamoku. I have a million cards in hand. Okay, so we have Charizard. I'm going to evolve. Leave my Pokemon. Burned and poisoned. 
going to put a polka doll on the bench. I'm just going to see if I can cycle this into something. I can. Um, just grab Survivor. Um, because I then want to draw a card. Hits Pokemoku, that's fine. I can just let him kill it. I, I'm very ahead on prizes. Mm -hmm. So you have the Hypnotoxic Laser. I guess we're fine just to pass here. Let my opponent take 80 damage. Because once the Lazzle dies, I have more Poké Dolls. My opponent's thinking, how the hell are you supposed to win this? <laughs> They've got 19 cards left in deck. So they've dug through just about as hard as I have. Which makes me think that they don't have something to specifically deal with the situation. So they probably have like one Pokemon Center lady. But they like don't play Escape Rope or anything. Another Rush Room and Charizard. You get a prize. Um, play the poker doll. Okay, so it's gonna go up to 200. I am gonna play the survivor here. So I think that is the correct call. Oh, I hit scoop up net. I wanted to scoop up net last night. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we just say pass, yes. Now he gets to 210 and he's within lethal range. Um, if the Poké Doll dies, I can put anything into the front and then I can scoop up net and then I can Poké Doll again if I need to. But all things going to plan, he should have died of poison here. Interesting. Digging so hard. <laughs> Eight cards left in deck. Do they have something in prize that deals with this? I don't think so. No. That's kind of funny. Thinking really hard. You could literally just retreat. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna hypnotoxic laser. Got the sleep, okay. Do they stay asleep? No. That's Pukumuku. I'll probably draw another one. Oh, we've got an extra Poké Doll. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Stay asleep. Nice. This is so close. Wait, he just passes it back? Okay. Interesting. So he's going to go to 210. I could just try and put him to sleep again, but I'm okay with the Poké Doll just taking a hit. Okay, I have the Frost Seal Stone, but I can only play that if I have the Lumineon in play. So that's fine. You're on 210. Is there even any energy left in your deck? Because you burnt through so much and discarded so many. What? 
It was a Pokemon Center Lady left. That's fine. I have another Hypnotoxic Laser. Lameo. And to sleep. Alright. This is my last poison. So if they had another Pokemon Center Lady, I can't poison again. Is he going to retreat? Nope. We get there. Can you believe that? Whew. All right. Off a, what was an absolutely crazy game. Run out of ways to poison my opponent. Still managed to get there right at the end because Hypnotoxic Laser came in clutch with the sleep. Hitting and sticking around. Um, I'm also pretty confident that my opponent probably didn't have many things in their deck that could deal with what I'm doing. Like, we didn't see any escape rope, which would have been super easy for them. Um, but that's that's kind of crazy. I'm actually really happy that I was able to make, make a deck that functions. It's not amazing, but it functions with no energy. And I'm really interested to start doing more deck building and playing around in this space. So... If you're interested in seeing some more wacky Pokemon TCG content, hit that like and subscribe button because that does help out the channel a lot. But I also have a bunch of other stuff on here as well. I've got Marvel Snap content, uh, Magic the Gathering Historic content, and also I'm developing a board game at the moment and I have a bunch of devlog content around that as well that's worth checking out. So I'm hoping that you're going to stick around for a little while.